I think it's the Fortuny Palace is something uh, I discovered. I knew already from before, but uh, the, so the city of Venice gave it to me, uh, and I, it's for me a fantastic, uh, extraordinary palace. One of my favorite palaces in in in, in, in Venice because it lived through the generation. It was a house of an artist, but I like it. It has been a workshop. So there's the palace part where Fortuna lived on the belle, on the first floor. There's the second floor with all these old peeling walls, which I like. That it's like art made by time, which we made exhibition Mach Tempo. And then afterwards, for, for Tra, for Infinitum, we made this this attic, which we restored. We painted the walls in the bricks of the of the roofs. We made power of, the, of those bricks. And then we built inside this labyrinth of silence here, together with Tatsuro Miki, uh, to, to create tokonomas. And toko means platform and ma is framed emptiness to, to, for work that is extremely silent. We are building uh, houses with natural materials that come from uh, hemp and lime, water, and the, they have as objective to be uh, fully respectable to nature and to human beings. In other words, we take materials out of the nature, we put them together in a very simple way. There's no factories, no production as such. We put it together and we get a most uh, 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 a walls and roof that can stand up for hundreds of years and uh, should we one day want to demolish the house we just give all the materials back to nature again. My name is Satsuro Miki so I'm the, the architect uh, of the designer of the pavilions uh, down below Palazzo Gondola and, and here this pavilion made from uh, recycled uh, material from Venice. So uh, our purpose for proposal, my mission was to uh, make something, a kind of installation, uh, which makes proposal possible to uh, live in it. My role is that, uh, you know, I'm the curator together with Daniela Ferretti, who is from the museums in Venice. And it started in with Art Tempo in 2007. I thought I might only do it once. But the success was so big and I think the, the, the message and the people were so nice and, and I think I have a task to do and for me it's very important to be useful and everything I experience myself I just like to share it with others and I think that's the main reason to do a big exhibition. And I've all my life been a collector so and I'm, for me artists are very very inspired, it's very much in, from inspiration. and. Uh, and I like, for me, the just a prediction and bringing things together is very important. When one plus one is more than two. You know, you bring things from old and contemporary uh, or from totally different regions, sometimes very close and sometimes very far from each other. But it's always asking the art, is it better like that? Do you like each other? It's like putting friends together, people around the table, and, and you feel, find the other energy. Uh, there's a big part from our own collection, there's a big part from the uh, Fortuny collection, also from the museums, uh, Italian museums, and from uh, impo very important other collections. Yes. And Marina Abramovic, she made an installation for here, so the, with the headphones. She names all the 10,000 stars. So the idea is that people would put the headphone and they can walk and they can look at the art and, 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 and meditate. We have lost this balance between us, our body, our ego, and the full universe, uh, including this planet. That's what Jürgen talks about, the materiality, what to do with one material, 
and uh, what to do now and what will be the after. This museum was important because the um, Axel Wawort, who is the locomotive behind it, he uh, said proportion have to come back to human beings because proportions are exceedingly important to us. When you don't know, know what proportion is, you just ask yourself, what is disproportions? Disproportions we have everywhere. So when uh, he said, let us build five pavilions, which uh, are downstairs, uh, he said, all the materials which we are using must have their own proportions. And here we come back to what I said earlier. How do we make a proportion out of materials? You say, they are come from nature. We build not a barrier between human beings and the nature. We build a link, a healthy breathing link, which is good for, for, for human beings and their health, for children in particular, and then good for nature as well.